Hi, I'm Melly Benson and welcome to session five of our energy series. Yay! We're going to talk about energy at a cellular level. Yes! Finally talking about nutrition, all, all those fun things. Uh, what I really wanted to discuss is how you can use some of the world's healthiest foods to protect, to protect your DNA in order to support healthy aging and also to increase your energy production. Before I go into all that, I want to discuss disease because it's related. All right. Did you know that there is only one disease in the world today? I know. Am I playing a mind game with you? <laughs> it is called chaos at a cellular level. That is the only disease that happens in your body. Everything else is a symptom. You take cancer, you take autism, you take um, depression. It's all just symptoms of chaos going at a level that you can't even see, that something has gone really, really wrong. Usually the two root causes of that chaos is toxicity and deficiency. Sometimes it's both. Have a stop and think about all the different things that are probably rushing through your head at the moment. What, what is this, you know, this is rocket science? No, this is just basic human health here, okay? When you see that, you look at, um, okay, so our cells have so, like it's our cells. Woo, go our cells, they're so mighty. I'm gonna just uh, bring it back to two th functions that they do. They take in nutrients and they eliminate waste. And they talk to each other, which is pretty cool. And they do mighty uh, other things and so forth, uh, which is great because when it eliminates, when your cells eliminate waste, it goes into your lymphatic system and your lymphatic system then takes it out to wherever it, it needs to go. You know, does its little job, does its little dance, da -da 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 -da, which is great, but your brain doesn't actually have a lymphatic system up there. It's too tight, there's too many cells, there's too much stuff going on up there. So how does your brain eliminate waste? Because there's lots of cells in your brain. It's a good question, glad you asked. When you sleep, the cells in your brain shrivel down and go to sleep along with you. When that happens, the cerebral spinal um, fluids come up into your brain and act like a lymphatic system, cleaning your brain out and the crap from the other ends of your cells in order to flush through your body. That's why we say that sleep is a nutrient because that ability to eliminate the waste and not accumulate in your brain is so powerful. You know, if you cook in your kitchen a storm and whatever and then you leave it for three months, Man, you don't want to go into that kitchen. There's nasties in that kitchen after that. And that's, you know, you can deal with it to a certain extent, but can you imagine how much worse it would be inside your body if you're not focusing and giving it the proper nutrients it needs, like sleep, in order to do its job to heal and repair you? Sleep is a nutrient. The other thing I want to talk about is what do your cells need? All over. Your cells need an oxygen-rich environment, which can come from exercise and movement. It can come from the foods that you eat. It needs uh, hydration and al alkalinity. Disease can't form and grow in an alkaline state. It's, um, it's known that disease forms in an acidic body. Okay, so uh, in the foods and the water you drink, it should be alkaline. It should be nourishing at least 70% of your plate should be alkaline in order to bring about the right energy. Energy and alkalinity, alkalinity is very much linked. Uh, as far as hydration, I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face, one liter per 22 kilograms of body weight every single day. Hydrate, 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 you'll feel amazing for it. Try it out, let me know how you go, it's amazing. The other thing is the sun. The sun is the ultimate source of energy. And we completely miss that. It's amazing what the sun can do to your cells. Your cells thrive. You look at the cells in the plant how the, with the photosynthesis and how it makes them grow strong and tall and it's amazing. I must have got a lot of sun. I'm six foot one. <laughs> sun is an amazing nutrient not to miss in a, in a mixture of things. The other thing that your cells need is its source of energy, which comes from either glucose or fat. Now, most of people in society today have trained their bodies to run off glucose because sugar is in everything, every tin, every jar, every packet. Oh my gosh, you can't escape <laughs> that darn hidden sugars. Um, and that's one way you could do it, by all means. I'm not 
disqualifying that, but glucose is kind of like Kindle on a fire. It just burns up quickly and you find that you've got to then feed yourself again and feed yourself again in order to keep that energy and that fire going. You know, you eat a chocolate bar, you know, you've got energy for the next 20 minutes and then it drops you like a ton of bricks. And then you find that your whole life is like this because you've got, you're just running off glucose. Whereas running off healthy fats, your cells actually can have a reserve about them and actually retain a bit of the um, fat in order to sustain you longer and have a slower release about them. You know, so much so when you get into a really good high fat diet, you don't even need to eat as much. Like your cells are just happy and fat <laughs> and they're just, but they're brimming with life. It's not fat as what we think it is. It's a really good, healthy fat kind of uh, fullness about them that's not searching for the next fee that's not searching for come on <laughs> give me the next shot of whatever high fat diet is paramount to you having more energy the other thing is in the um, supplements uh, to help protect your DNA function there's zinc b3 b6 b9 coenzyme 10 glutathione which is good for your uh, muscles the other thought okay this is really profound Cut out the food that your body doesn't tolerate. Your body is wasting so much time trying to deal with these foods that it can't tolerate. It's weighing you down. And what you need to do is start with a cleanse. Eliminate everything from your diet apart from vegetables. Or you can do a fast, you can eliminate everything. Or uh, eliminate the, uh, up until the vegetables and maybe a bit of fish. See how your body goes. Introduce one thing at a time. Does your body respond well to it or negatively to it you know when you look at it and it's not a fad the whole um, uh, gluten-free dairy free thing that we've come to know you know it's just 75% of people are actually intolerant to those things and we just don't know it. we actually just live with it but see are you gassy are you bloaty are you um, uh, stuck on the toilet are you farty are you there's so many different symptoms you don't want that if you want the most energy in life, you need to make sure you're eating foods that bring you life, not weigh you down. I strongly encourage that you go through a bit of an elimination diet, a cleanse, a detox, and see how well your body responds without those foods, and then see if you can introduce those foods and if your body still functions well with them. The other thought is cut out the processed foods, cut out the um, conventional foods. Again, your body does not recognize chemicals and synthetic compounds that are in your processed foods, that are in your pharmaceutical drugs. It doesn't know what to do with it. And while it should be moving on and helping you live this happy, energetic life, it's stuck going, oh, what's this? I don't, I don't, I don't even recognize this piece of food. I understand what a banana is, I understand what an apple is, but what's this? This is like, let's you know, kind of search through it and see if we can find a vitamin in there, maybe. You know, oh, look, there's a synthetic vitamin A. Let's try and make that work. No, just cut it out. It'll make you feel so much better. And it'll make your body feel lighter. It'll make you feel clearer because your body's not weighing down trying to sort through this chemical synthetic compounds that it doesn't need to waste time and energy on. So that's all I have time for today. I could keep talking for ages about this, but we're gonna follow it up with more discussions, more talks, more blogs about this. And uh, I hope that's enough to get you forward. So just to recap, we need our cell, what our cells need is oxygen, water, sun, high fat diet. It needs some vitamins, zinc, the B group, coenzyme 10, um, uh, glutathione. It needs organic foods where possible. It needs the rainbow foods of vegetables and fruits where possible. It needs foods it can recognize and love and cut out everything else. All right. Let's keep talking. Feel free to send your questions to me at melly at mellybenson.com. Would be fabulous and I'll talk to you guys next.